Hey guys, welcome back to the Joe Jaguar Show one more time. I have another story to tell you guys. Okay, so remember the last video, or maybe it was the second one before that, anyway, that I showed you, it was a fluke that I found the Takahashi FS-102. I just started talking to the guy uh, because I thought his price was too low on something, and then after that, he told me he's selling stuff, and then when he showed it to me, so he's getting out of the hobby, an older gentleman, late 60s, early 70s, anyway. anyway after speaking to him, and we made a verbal deal, uh, but not uh, met yet, because he's like four hours away drive. He also said he has a friend who, again, is about the same age as him, is getting out of the hobby too, and he has some nice stuff. So again, I contacted this, his friend of his, his friend, and he was the one that got the other guy into the hobby, and again, He's retired, uh, he's getting out of the hobby. When I met him, you know, again, he's late 60s, early 70s, something like that. Uh, if you're watching the video, please comment, am I wrong? Uh, or don't you want to? But um, we met both of them. Both of them were getting out of the hobbies and both of them had some good, nice accessories and a telescope. But I told Angelus, I can't do anymore, you know? Just remember, about three months ago or so, I bought the Evo Star 120 because I sold all my other refractors except the Takahashi 6 inch TOA. So I wanted something that was light and portable. So I got that one. Then for my vacation, I bought the 6 inch Heritage. And then after I came back, I was thinking, what about an 8 inch? And then I bought the Celestron 8GN. And then I found, again, the fluke was the Takahashi 128, which was pretty expensive. And then like three weeks later, I found the first guy uh, that was a fluke. And then I got the 102 Takahashi. And now his friend had this. A Teleview. Now, I've never owned a, te a Teleview, so it would be nice to actually try. And this is... So I told Angelus, you know what, if you want to grab this, I'll do a couple videos, uh, we can test it, you know, that type of thing. So it's a Teleview Green 85. Now, I've never, again, I've never owned a Teleview, but this sucker is heavy. There's the uh, manual with it, and it's, uh, or I don't think that's handwritten, I think it might be stamped, Al Nagler's name. Now, I'm going to go weigh this guy because I want to know because this sucker for an 85 millimeter is pretty heavy. It's kind of like almost like the Takahashi, the TOAs are extremely heavy for the size. This guy for an 80 millimeter, sorry, 85 millimeter ish is very heavy. Anyways, this comes with a bag uh, to take out the cap, you unthread it. Which sometimes on the nicer high-end scopes, it's not just a dust cap. You gotta unthread it. Some people like it, some people don't. And so the lens hood does shrink about four inches. Let me show you the glass. It's an excellent condition. Uh, it's a doublet. Now I have heard, I don't know, because I've never used it, that Teleview APOs, are never truly uh, APOs since they're doublets, uh, but I've never really tested it out. Now here's the, right there, serial number uh, 1030, I believe. Uh, maybe if you guys know what that means or can figure that out. Has nice focus knobs, Ooh, that's pretty tight. Wow, that's actually pretty tight. I wonder, I could probably, it has the older style screws there, so I could probably just loosen that a bit. Uh, it has the ever bright uh, diagonal, and this is an expensive diagonal. Inch and a quarter focuser, has the clamshell, and the green spotted finish. So, I wanna weigh this guy, so I'll be back. Okay, let's see what's going on here. 
Actually. And let's do the cap as well. Okay, that's about eight pounds. Um, but it seems so much heavier than what it is. Like, it doesn't feel like eight pounds. Maybe because a cheap refractors like this, I mean, you can't compare an 80 millimeter F5 to an 85 Teleview, but something like this is about two and a half pounds. So it's extremely light. Let's get rid of that. It, it doesn't even deserve to be on the table with this guy, but um, okay, let's try it this way. Uh, just, is there, yeah, about eight and a half pounds. Okay, that's good enough. So Teleview's in, you know, from New York, Suffern, New York. And uh, I'd like to test this guy out. Now, a lot of it's supposed to be said that this is a really nice, like, daytime scope if you like to bird watch, animal viewing, and that type of thing. And of course, nighttime. Now, it is only an 85 millimeter, but should produce some nice views. So let's give that a go and we're gonna see how it happens. Okay, I see the screws at the back is like a hex screw not like a phillips head or anything like that uh what's nice about the bottom of the clamshell it's actually flat so to put let's say a uh, vixen bar maybe like four inches probably enough uh, pretty easy um yeah and that's it okay so that's what this is and a uh, nice little video there so again uh that's it there's really not much more so it was a We've had some fluky stuff. There is no finder scope, but there is a couple slots that you could put like a Teleview, uh, a slim design finder scope that would fit in this uh, type of indentation. But anyway, that's what it is. Uh, I guess we were fluky in finding two people on the same weekend that has some awesome stuff. Uh, but again, turned out to be a very expensive lately with all this stuff. So I can't do anymore. Anyway, hopefully, hopefully you guys like that. I'm gonna try to do some, uh, maybe testing. The problem is the moon right now is just past a couple days after uh, full moon. So which means I literally gotta stay up past 1 a.m. if I wanna see the moon. I could try Venus uh, type of thing, but uh, maybe I'll wait till the moon comes like a quarter moon again in a couple weeks and we'll test it. Maybe we do some daytime uh, viewing as well. Anyway, guys, I appreciate all you guys that stuck with me all this time. If you guys know anybody getting into astronomy, you can share my link. Any of you guys in any of the forums, either in the UK, the US, or whatever, uh, if anybody has asked a video of something like that, um, please share my link or any other links that people have asked that have already done, I would appreciate it. Also, I now have a members forum. You don't have to join if you don't want to. I have about 200 videos uh, for the general people on my channel, but I do have now a members video where I handpick one video a month for you guys to watch. It's only 99 cents a month. Uh, I try to put it as low as possible, but it helps uh, grow the channel, buy stuff that I see to show you guys. Uh, for you guys to get my opinion of it every little bit helps and um, so far i got three members on the members so i appreciate you guys and i'll also put your uh, name into the description and as it goes the more more people will join and i'll put your names down and um, that's it why not you why not me